I cannot contain my excitement for today's video, for today's tutorial. Everything basically went so good. I've had high expectations for this one and I cannot wait to share everything with you. First and foremost, this is Natasha Denona Midi Xenon Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palette. This palette, as we already know, contains 15 shades, made in Italy with 24 months shelf life. Something that is really appreciated. It is way different um, to pay for a palette that can last you two years because let's be real unless you're using same palette so many times like you're not gonna hit pan on the eyeshadow palette that soon but the thing here is it is limited edition and that is something that honestly I'm so sad about now um, when I had the first impressions and testing the formula and everything listen as much as I was excited about this color story and in a way I felt like this palette was made for me when it comes to my personal preferences I will keep that aside and I will break down the formula and the one thing that I think most of us looking at the pictures were kind of um, questioning am I buying 50 shades of gray it's so grayscale like is there any difference within this palette we'll talk about everything um, throughout this tutorial and later now this palette contains multi-dimensional blacks vivid grays and icy pinks we are having two of her new formula one of the formula we already met within her last I need a nude palette which is sparkling wet effect finish what we have in this palette we are having sparkling foil formula now I'm gonna do some swatches so you can see the difference between the mattes, the difference with the new formula and then the whole eyeshadow palette. Now first I wanted to do some matte swatches so it's easier for you to have perspective while creating your looks. So the first one is Contrail which is matte white shade. Now the next one is Blizzard which is matte light gray. The next one is Flurry which is matte eggshell. It's kind of a taupe transitional shade. The next one is Nerd which is matte medium gray. Spoosh is matte cream to powder charcoal shade. Now this is not a black shade. This one is the easiest to work with. Let me just show you pure white and black just for the reference. Now let me show you these two Inglas MC Gel eyeliners. I know these are gels but they will dry. So we have 77 which is black and 76 which is white. Now here you can see the difference between true white shade because this one has a little bit um, grayish undertone almost as if it's off white and now for the black if you thought this is deep like black color look at the difference and even if we can pull from the her mini xenon or her black is black you'll see how different this is this one does have the gray undertone and it's not black so in comparison I did apply different eyeshadow um, they are really really similar but then not completely same as this one where this one is m a little bit more whiter than this one now what i do have from natasha is her black as black um, cream to powder eyeshadow and you can see the difference between the two this is black this is not so i'll say this is everything from a to be and everything in between and I do love the depth difference between the shades that she chose to put in this palette but we'll see once I of course create a look and blend them together what's going to happen let's watch all of her new formula now in this palette we have brand new formula sparkling foiled effect finish we also have sparkling wet effect finish and even though that is new formula it's not exclusive to this palette because that formula can be found in I need a nude palette. I'll say with this mattes besides the last one I went a couple of times to apply them whilst watching them to get this full opacity that you can see on the camera. Here it is you guys all 15 shades from the palette.
before we move on to a tutorial i just wanted to say that this palette is priced at 69 us dollars i did order mine from natasha danana's website and i also because i had points i used 30 percent off so that was a pretty good deal for this palette i'll say you know what she is having great um rewards program and then on top of everything you can also use discount code my code is ivana15 in case you wanna take 15 percent off of your purchase i never had an issue um purchasing from natasha's website and also packaging always comes secured and it is really fast anyways without any further ado let me show you this makeup tutorial and i'll see you later first as usual i will start by creating a outline for my eyes i will basically create a sharp liner for that i am using inglas mc gel eyeliner in number 77 you can totally skip this part if you want to and just see the application of the eyeshadows but if you want to recreate this look then you should definitely um, keep on watching. The way I do this is to start applying my liner where kind of my eye goes down. That way I get effect of a more lifted eye, like a lift effect. It's like a facelift for your eyes, basically. Also, the good thing is because I don't have my base, I can manipulate this liner. But I can only do this before it dries. If it dries because it is waterproof, I do need a Vaseline for that. Also applied in my waterline. Also in my inner corner. This is going to be good. Now you guys, when it comes to the base um, for my eyes, I did apply a little bit of Natasha Denona's concealer mixed with... Well, I did apply a little bit of P. Louise. The thing is, this one was so worn undertone now compared to what i have on my eyebrows by the way these are not my natural eyebrows so i did kind of uh, made a mixture to make them appear lighter because that will emphasize today's look since i wanted to go a little bit creative that's what i'm going to do for today i can already tell you since i've applied this this was pretty quick easy blendable loving it and for all of you that are wondering is this toned down pick showing up it does it really is it's not too close to the other shades and i think it's beautiful first i'm going in with this matte shade snert and i'm kind of creating a crease and i just realized that here actually i did use a smaller pointy brush for that but you can also use a smaller um blending brush but i did have more precision and the pigment grabs instantly her formula is definitely one of my favorites and so far that i've tried i have no issues i am loving it it blends easily it blends beautifully the pigments grabs really nicely and i did not have issue while blending for example just mattes or going with the shimmer on top of the mattes but the question comes and we'll discuss it later when it comes to variations um for this palette like did you get like 15 shades of gray also how versatile this palette can actually be i'm going to blend edge a little bit here i'm gonna go in right here with the shade blizzard if you are curious for a transition shades i'll say that i do love what she did with the mid-tones so first shade that I've used is definitely more, um, especially for the lighter skin tone, it's not a transitional shade. This is more almost deep, um, medium to deep um, shade, but to have a transition right here, it is definitely possible because we do have it. And this shade that I'm using right now, I know I'm not using this as a transition on my crease, but I can see what is going on. And I am a loving loving the the depth between the shades that she made especially with the mattes when it comes to shimmers we'll discuss that as well well i don't think all of them even though they are different textures and undertones i don't think all of them were necessary maybe even two of them and we'll discuss that later i realized that on a swatch and i know for a fact that will um, resonate like that on the eyes as well and i'll try it couple of them before i move on to my deeper shade i'm gonna go in and repeat <laughs> repeat a little bit with this one just to bring back the depth that we have and so that our next color grabs beautifully i'm gonna go with the shade blizzard once again 
take the excess off and just apply that where my bare skin is now i mean i do have a face underneath of course but i don't have eyeshadows right here so that everything blends more so i'm gonna use a little bit of splash color but on the edge just a tiny bit just to add a little bit of a dimension and later we're gonna deepen up everything after we cut a crease as well now i'm taking flat brush with a vaseline on it and i'm going to cut a crease i also wanted to mention that this pulled a bit more bluish slash gray on me which i don't mind at all we do have even more blue undertone shade in here which i am not going to use today for this look but i'm definitely planning on creating a, like at least one look with it and it's called ebb by the way let me know in the comment section down below what kind or what types of a looks would you like to see next from this palette so i can create them for you What's wrong with this Q-tips? Now I'm gonna go in with the night sky with a really tiny or you can use a liner brush for this. And what I am doing here, I'm just emphasizing the edge. But in the center, I'm not touching this or going bright in the beginning. Wow, this is really pigmented and I, I applied a little bit on my brush. But as it turns out, a little bit goes a long way. Mm, this looks even better than this. When it's kind of a stronger edge shift. I almost poked myself in the eye. I definitely love when this is stronger. So you can manipulate the depth that you want, definitely. And this night sky shade is way, not way, like both swoosh both Posh and Night Sky are dark, but this one is leaning more towards black than the other one. Listen, I understand this is not your everyday makeup look. Um, this is not something that you probably would do on a daily basis. What you can see in here is the color depth. You can see the undertones, you can see the blending as well. And you're not necessarily have to do this technique, but you can incorporate same colors that I did differently and easily. And now I'm using Philly's face to clean everything. This is, well, sorry, not to clean because I'm just going to sharpen the edge, already cleanse everything with the Vaseline, but to add the base that we are now not having underneath. I was in a way freaking out because I started late. It was 12.30 when my um, package arrived. So it was pretty late. And on top of it, I filmed all of the swatches, different swatches, palette, um, unboxing and everything. And uh, I still have to edit this. So because of my tomorrow schedule, honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like it probably take me till two, three in the morning to do everything, which lately, it's not a com uncommon, like, uh, because I'm editing my videos, I am working sometimes 15, 16 or more hours a day. And it's been pretty, pretty busy lately. But at the moment, it's the only way I can give you everything at a schedule that is. Well, I'm saying all of this, thank God that everything goes smooth and quicker than I thought it will. Now we are going to switch to Contrail Shade. This one is matte white shade. It looks more white in a pan than when I swatched it, but still it is really, really bright. I cannot tell you how happy, happy I am that we finally have something like this. I can have so much control with this white. I can control some other shades in here and I am so, so, so happy that finally in Natasha's palette i have a lighter shade even though it's pretty strong it is white it doesn't matter it's light now i feel like we are overwhelmed with the light shades in here even to the point was all of this necessary i don't think it was we'll see now i'm using shade stellar this is of course my first impressions and as more as i use this palette somehow it unveils 
so much more than you would think. Going with the Stellar again. I guess you have to see it in person. This shade is so, so, so stunning. Beautiful. I'm going to use Neve shade, which is a little bit lighter than this one. Just a, like, not even, yeah, like one shade lighter with a little bit different undertone. The first one is a little bit more on a gray side, where this one has like a, a champagne specks in it, I would say. Muted rosy champagne specks. Again, hard to see like this, but once you're up and like close and let me show you these two. You can see the difference. They definitely perform differently. Are they close one to each other? They definitely are. But again, now it's the fun part. I'm going to dive in into night sky. I did decide to um, take out the shade app for today. I wanna just keep with this um, rosy shade. I hope you can see on the camera. Wait. Okay, let me just try this. Can you see as I'm turning how also this shade is shifting? Talking about this shade. See, when I'm looking at it like this, it really looks like on a picture. When I look at it like this, straight, it's much more washed and much more similar to the other shades. But again, I'm telling you when I'm watching it like this, on the other angle, it really does look like in a promo photos. Anyways, go back to the night sky, which is the deepest shade in here. This is described as a metallic black. Um, first I thought this is cream to powder formula. It can look like matte like this, but it's not. It's not matte. Like, it looks different than my Inglots liner, um, which is black or even the blackest black because this is not matte. Did I went too high with this? Again, blending it, not issue. And I'm not having even primer underneath, which tells a lot about the eyeshadow quality. Next one will be shade Snert. Now, I could have even skipped this, but I'm still gonna use this shade blizzard so basically almost all of the shades that i have in my inner corner um crease now this is too much now i am going to apply right here as well and i'm gonna dump my brush a little bit and go into the shade Cygnus. this is such a gorgeous gorgeous shade beautiful wow once again close up Beautiful. This is stunning. This is stunning, you guys. <sighs> Natasha, if you would just leave this like this with this color story, so mainly using one, two, four shades. Let's just say four shades like this. So if you would use Blizzard at Snart as they um, as they match, and then a Night Sky and the Sideness. This would look stunning as a combo. You always can add a little bit lighter shade, but wow. Can't wait to create more looks with this. Cannot wait. Anyways, I am gonna go in a shade. What happened is Superionic. I'm gonna go in with a Groove shade. Okay, one shade that I am not like super, super kind of excited about, but I still felt like it's necessary. It's like a basic medium gray shimmery shade like nothing super special about it but still i feel like we have something similar within the xenon mini xenon palette as well i still feel like it's necessary to have this when it comes to shimmers for a transition and now snowbow let me just show you first the swatch maybe this maybe like this you'll see better what this color is really really about now, let's look at a shift. I'm loving this shade and it's not that it's too close to the other shades. It does have a different undertone and specific specs inside. So now I'm going to take smaller brush and I will take this shade out of this line towards my eyebrow. 
this is stunning this is stunning can I use a stellar shade for my inner corner and then after that just a tiny bit of a neve now I'll just reapply my liner in a sense that I will um, just emphasize the outer edge and we'll be right back so now for the lower lash line I am going in a little bit with the Natasha Denona concealer as my base I did apply some lenses and these are from company called Miss Lens let me just apply my gel liner in my waterline um, off the camera because I'm wearing lenses now first I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade which is Snert with my bullet brush Ooh, the gray mascara would look great on this taking smaller blending brush just to blend everything I'm gonna go in with a lighter dark shade which is shade splash splash <laughs> spoosh these grays definitely pull on blue on me like it's still gray but it does have like a blue undertone which I don't mind and now going into shade night sky right close to my lash line and now I'm gonna go in with the shade snowball a little bit in my inner corner okay you guys now I think I will apply a little bit of rice tones I will finish off my face and I will be right back with you I haven't even realized that in my intro I forgot to talk about the packaging like it's classic Natasha Denona's um, packaging which I do love and it does have like um like you're looking at the sky those small stars and it's just basically simple packaging and the good thing is that um, outside represents what I know what is inside okay so putting aside all of the excitement because of the color story that I said I am so loving I wanted to stress a couple of things or I would say a couple of concerns that I saw online people have about this palette so before anything I love that we have finally finally we have light not only one shade but we have a couple of them and I'm super excited about that because a lot of Natasha's palettes midi palettes they don't have this type of light eyeshadows that being said now in this one I feel like we have one or two excessive eyeshadows so let me just do a swatch so first is a rhyme then we have Neve Stellar is a bit um, darker and then we have a matte even though rhyme is gorgeous shade I would take that out because I feel like we are having too much choices now with the lights so the difference between Stellar and Neve there is a difference and I don't think they are too close they are close but not that much that it's like unnecessary but the, the third one I believe I would take out the rhyme just because of its formulation wouldn't take out this matte because it's great to lighten up um, or to make a transition with your matte now when it comes to transition colors I do love that we, we do have a choice between transition colors and that is shade flurry and shade bizarre and I love the fact that there are different undertones it's just that this flurry shade when I swatch it it pulls out kind of a ashy on me so that's one thing um I don't know if you're a deeper skin tone how this will pull on your like on top of your skin because this palette may give different overall look depending on the background that it is you know um so when it comes to other shades I do love that we have um, I said I'm not too, ex uh, too crazy about the shade um, Griu but Superionic is more like a metallic shade but both of them are necessary because of the transitions now one thing that was kind of in the air was this snowball shade we don't see any icy pinks in here well this one is icy pink depending on how you look at it now I don't know how this will look on a camera but what am I looking in person this is true icy pink color and it stands out from the other colors that we have in here especially when it comes to grays it is icy pink and it did look more pink on the promo photos and when you look at it like depending on how I turn this palette it does have like a little shift 
and it looks almost like it it's kind of wants to blend with everything else it's like where are those pinks where is that pink shade that we saw well it is here it is here and i can say that it's different um from everything else also we do have in the last row this skift and um, this flurry shade that is um, like an eggshell color would love to create something with that as well I didn't use this ebb color this one pulls more towards blue and I'll say this grays in general pulled a little bit blue toned underneath um, underneath everything which I don't mind I love in general this is monochromatic really truly cool tone shade uh, we are in a i'll say in a phase where the brands are launching a lot of cool tone palettes one thing i have to say that natasha brings she truly brings innovative color story now in each palette we might have like some shades that we would take off some are too similar whatever but the concept of what she's doing being artist first heads down one of the best that's all i'm gonna say i'm so grateful for that so so grateful to see another after everything that has been launched to see another palette yet another and another will come with a specific color story and also new formulas so to conclude this video i'm not gonna say you're gonna buy 50 shades of gray you're gonna buy a really cool toned beautiful eyeshadow palette that blends beautifully this formulation is great it is top notch also you can use this as a palette within your different palettes to mix also i always can use this white in whatever look i am doing and i'm grateful for that as well one concern that i had we don't have matte black eyeshadow i don't mind we do have night sky which is pretty close to the depth of the black and it blended beautifully next to my matte black liner that's all i am going to say for now i'll definitely create more, more looks let me know in the comment section down below what is next that you would like to see in my video because i'm thinking different types of looks that i can create i had to go a little bit artistic today um because this palette really inspired me i'm so so excited about this one the only thing that is minus is that this is limited edition why is this limited edition do you know i don't it shouldn't be a limited edition oh my god this is everything for today thank you for watching today's video let me know your thoughts in the comments and guys before you leave make sure to watch this video and i'll see you in my next one really soon thank you for watching bye